Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a safe links policy in Microsoft 365. So over here in our security portal, we're looking at the security recommendation from Microsoft and they want you to have a policy to apply to 100% of users in your organization. And specifically the settings that they want applied are to select the action on malicious URLs to on and they want you to apply safe links to email messages sent within your organization. So it's one thing to apply in the mail flow to apply it to emails going in and out of your organization. It's another thing to apply it to things going in between your organization from one user to another. So they want that to be turned on as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over here to the main security portal and we're going to go, I need to expand it. On. There we go. Policies and rules. There we go to threat policies and we're going to go to safe links. And you always have the built-in Microsoft protection, but that is mostly just so that they don't get sued. It doesn't have as good of settings as what you would like. So we're going to create one for Imperion, and I'm going to target this at the domain. So you can apply this to users, groups, or domains. I only have one domain in this test tenant, so I'm just going to apply it to that one. And if anything gets sent to my on Microsoft, we can apply it to that one as well. So most of the stuff in the wizard is going to be on by default. So you want to turn safe links on for email and you want to apply safe links to email messages sent within your organization. So we want to apply real time scanning for suspicious links and links that point to files. We do want to wait for the URL scanning to complete before delivering the message. And this one is going to help you a lot, um, especially if you get confused by rewritten URLs like I do. Uh, most users do. So this one right here says, do not rewrite the URL. Just check via the Safe Links API. And that's going to help people actually see the link in their email. And you know, if you're a smart person, you can know whether it's malicious based off the link. Um, and then down here, we're going to turn it on for Teams. We're going to turn it on for Office 365 apps. We are going to track user clicks. And we are not going to let users click through to the original URL if it's malicious. We're going to display the organization branding on notifications and warning pages. You can customize notification text here. Um, I just go with using the default one most of the time. And then you want to review your settings and hit Submit. So because I've you know just included the two domains that I have, 100% of users are going to be affected by this policy tomorrow, and we can expect our score to update within the next 24 hours. So if you like this video, stay tuned. We're going to be doing more Microsoft 365 videos in the future.